Hi, good morning, everyone. How's everyone good morning. doing? Good morning. Good, good, good. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And so um, today we're going to focus on trust. Trust. Um, I know there's a lot of things that um, may be coming our way in terms of like different circumstances, uh, different trials, tribulations, things that are like heavy on our minds, whether um, like financially, health wise. But we just want to remember that we can continue to trust in God for all things. It may be hard to do that because a lot of times we are trusting in our own things, trusting in our own mind, our own will. But we have to continue to just know that God is in control and that he will not steer us wrong. Yep. And so... Coming from Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, um, with the theme, trust in mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you, Father, for being great. We thank you, Father, for being Lord of Lords. We thank you, Father, for being King of Kings. We thank you, Father, for this is the day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Father, for our right minds being clothed in our right minds, Father, for the activity of our limbs, Father. We thank you, Father, that trust will be our portion, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that we will trust in you for all the things within our life, Father. We will not lean on our own understanding, but we will lean on your understanding. We thank you, Father, that we will trust in you for financial breakthroughs, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because you are the one that can make a way when there is no way, Father. We thank you, Father, that we are going to trust in you for just different trials and circumstances that's trying to come our way, Father, but we thank you, Father, that we're going to trust in you knowing that that it will be all right. We thank you, Father, that we can lean on you, Father, for all of our needs, for all of our circumstances, for everything that we need within our lives, Father. We are trusting in you for just directing and leading us, for guiding us, for trusting in you to direct our very path, Father. We thank you, Father, for trust in our health, Father. We ask you, Father, to just lean, help us to lean on you for our health, Father. Not to have us to lean on our own circumstances, our own understanding but trust in you to know how we can take just just uh, authority over our health father yes. authority over our mind not just our physical health father but our spiritual health yes. as well father because our spiritual health is very important and we do not want to uh, neglect that father so we thank you father we trust in you for our spiritual health as well as our natural health father in the mighty name of Jesus we're trusting you for just protection yes. protection around our homes protection in our homes protection father as you are leading us to and from our very destinations father we are trusting you in each and everything, Father, because we cannot do it in our own might. We cannot do it in our own power. We cannot do it in our own strength, Father, because we are leaning on you, Father, because we know that you are in complete and total control. You are in complete and total control. You are in complete and total control. So we thank you, Father, for just you're having us to trust in you, Father. We thank you, Father, for the very breath that you have breathed in us, Father. Amen. For just having us to wake up, to see another day, Father, to just do it right, Father. Amen. We thank you, Father, for we repent for not trusting in you, Father. For worry, Father. We thank you, Father, that we will not worry, that we will not doubt, because if we worry and we doubt, we say that we are not trusting in you, Father. So have your way, Father. Have your way, Father, that we will not worry, that we will not doubt, we will not get discouraged, that we will be encouraged in you, knowing that your word is everlasting, your word is true, your word is faithful, and that you, Father, are the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. Amen. So we thank you, Father, for the trust that you are going to just have, have within us, Father. 
We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And continuing in prayer, I want to share um, Psalms 37 and 5 where it says, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you give us a mind to commit ourselves to you, a mind to commit ourselves to understanding what your word says, what it means to us in our lives, how it guides our behavior, Lord, how it guides and, and leads us to continue, continually, continually connect with you, continually to trust, continue to trust in your timing, continue to trust in your direction, Lord. Lord, we know that you will act on our behalf as we continue to be aligned with what your word has said for us to, to repent, what your word has said for us to, to, to trust you, to listen, to follow, and to understand what it is you have for our lives. Lord, we're thankful today that we even have a mind to read, a mind to get into the house of the Lord, a mind to, to align ourselves and to understand what it is you would have for us to think, do, and say today. Lord, Lord, we're grateful for the opportunity to be your, 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 um, your child. We're grateful for the opportunity to, to, to stand under your blessings, Lord, that you might direct us, that you might um, give us the, the things that we need in order to thrive wherever you place us, Lord. We know that you are leading, different, leading us into different places, different um, in the different um, situations and circumstances. You've given us different platforms and opportunities to be the children of God that you have called for us to be, to, to, to share the love of Jesus with people, to share the love of the Holy Spirit as it guides and gives us direction, Lord. Lord, we're thankful that today is an opportunity for us to redouble our trust in you, to, to uh, double down on, on trusting your word, to double down on trusting your timing, because in many situations, Lord, we don't know what the outcome will be. We have no idea why things are the way they are, but we know that you love us and that you care for us and that you will always lead, lead and guide us in the right way. You will tell us where we need to speak, where we need to stand, and what we need to do, even if it's at times that, that doing is just praying, that doing is just standing still and watching the salvation of the Lord. Lord, we're thankful today that you always act on our behalf, that you will always pour into us what we need and that you will always do what will be <clears throat> do what will be most beneficial in our in our best interest. Lord, we're grateful for that. And today we want to even go further, Lord. I want to share another passage of scripture, Isaiah 41 and 10, where it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Just as you spoke those words and, 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 and inspired Isaiah to write those words to the children of Israel and even to us today, Lord, we want to make sure that we are walking in a space, Lord, where we're, un, we're unafraid of the circumstance. We're unafraid of even the outcome of situations. Lord, in our humanness, sometimes we are afraid. We're taken aback. We're surprised. We don't know what the situation will be, but we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are your children, that you have our best interest in heart, Lord. And today, I just pray that you continue to strengthen your children today, Lord. Strengthen and uphold us, Lord. Where we are weak, we know that you are the one that holds us up. When we are confused, you are the one that clarifies, amen. When their situations are complex, you are the ones that make it simple, that trust in you so that we can continue to walk in the way that you have called for us to walk. Today, Lord, I pray that individuals that hear your word, it won't just be something that they hear with their natural ears, but it actually goes to their heart. It goes to the heart so that they understand that their connection with you is their lifeline. Their connection with you is the, the way to salvation. Their connection to you is the way for deliverance, Lord. Today, even when we don't have the, the power or, or even the might in our, in our minds and in our bodies, Lord, we know that we can come to you and that when we pray to you that your spirit will be able to do what you have called for us to do, to heal in situations, to save in situations, to break the bonds of iniquity in situations, to deliver individuals from wherever they are, the miry pit, Wherever they are, just like you saved us, Lord, we know that you can save them, that you can deliver them. And today we are leaning on you. We are trusting in you. We're trusting in your spirit to manifest itself in salvation and deliverance and healing. On Jesus' precious name, we pray as we trust you. And let us say, amen. Amen. amen.
Amen. And amen. Come back at 9.30 for worship and the word.